Students attending the city camp in Malaysia can focus on their cultivation because of 361 camp staff members working in the background. They prepare meals, tea and snacks for the students. The kitchen at the Jinsu Hall is busy with noise in the early morning because cooking volunteers have to prepare lunch and snacks for over 2,000 people. They work together and they treat their work as another way of learning. I learned to cooperate with other people after my second mission, how to work with so many volunteers. I also give myself a challenge, which is I must know how to do the work right by cooperating with other people. Everything has its challenges, but just by following Master's words, keep a bored mind and pure thoughts, and just do it, they are able to solve many problems. When you deal with any sudden change in the camp, your attitude should become better. In the past, you might become nervous when you were faced with an unexpected change, but now you're calmer. I feel fortunate to be part of the daily routine of this team. They start early and work until very late. I've worked in that team before, but back then I felt it was very tough. It crossed my mind that if the work was left to senior volunteers, it would be very hard on them. But I am still young, so I can do it. One day before the camp, these volunteers had been preparing everything from pasting mark on the grounds to going through the rundown. So the students of the camp are able to focus on their classes. We must do our best because we know what our goal is and what method we should do to improve our culture. Doing a different type of work is also a cultivation. These volunteers use technology so they can also listen to the talks while they are doing their work outside the classroom.